All right, so this video is for um, students or people without uh, mouse, three button mouse or the numpad, okay? Or you're using um, a, a Surface Pro or a tablet where you don't even have your keyboard out, you just wanna click buttons, okay? So uh, let's get started. So let's first see how we can, uh, how it works uh, if you do have a mouse, okay? So first, let, let me turn on uh, my screencast here so you could see what I'm clicking. Okay. All right. So um, when you have a mouse uh, to orbit your camera, you middle click drag. All right. And then if you hold down shift and middle click, you get to pan your camera. If you have a scroll on your mouse, mouse wheel you zoom in if you don't you hold down control and middle click drag that's how you zoom in all right if you have a numpad you press numpad one to go to the front viewport let me turn on my overlay here so you could see the actual name right there you press number three for side or right side seven for top number one for front number five to uh to go perspective to orthographic. If you uh, have a, if you have an object that's really far, you want to zoom in on the numpad. You press dot. Okay, so on and so forth. Okay, so um, that's having a numpad and a three button mouse. If you don't have a um, three button mouse. Um, you're going to have to use the emulation. Let's say you have a trackpad. All right. So and then if you had, don't have a numpad, you're going to have to sacrifice your alphanumeric shortcuts, your one through zero, you know, those horizontal numbers. And you're going to replace them with your numpad. All right. So but before we jump to those, uh, let's do the icon equivalent first uh, of when you're missing your um, your numpad. OK. So when you press zero on the numpad, you switch from working camera. This is a working camera to a recording camera. OK, when you press zero, you toggle between working camera and the recording camera. Recording camera means this is what you're going to be taking photo of. Right. So if you don't have numpad, you don't have zero. You still can do it by clicking this icon right here that looks like a camera. So if I click camera, it just switches. It's the same thing as hitting numpad zero. OK. All right. Remember, uh, when we didn't have if we don't have a three button mouse and you want to pan, panning is holding down shift and then middle click drag. But let me get out of that first. This button right here, which looks like a hand, is the same thing. If you click and drag, it's the same thing as doing a middle click drag. Okay, a middle click drag and uh, shift. The plus magnification icon right here looks like a magnifying uh, glass. This is your zoom. This would be the same thing as having a mouse scroll or control middle click drag. Okay, so this grid here is your number five on the numpad. This is to switch from orthographic to perspective. OK, so this one replaces numpad five, numpad zero. This one is your shift, middle click, drag, control, middle click, drag. All right. So you can do pretty much everything without a mouse if you're just using a, uh, let's say, a pen and a tablet. OK. So uh, what about those uh, numpad uh, viewport, like front, side, top, and when you do control of this, control seven shows you the bottom, control three shows you the left side, control one shows you the back side, okay? So we can also access those without uh, a numpad by simply clicking this uh, access uh, window or viewport setup, okay? So Z, it points up and down. So this has something to do with up and down or top and bottom. If I click Z right here, okay, it shows you the top. 
All right, if I click Z again, it shows me the bottom. If I click Y, it shows me the back side. Okay, if I click Y here again, it shows me the front. If I hit X, I go to the right. If I hit X again, I go to the left side. All right, so it's pretty much the same thing as having one, three, and seven in your numpad and holding down control one, three, and seven if you click this uh, XYZ uh, representation of the views. Okay, so we've covered those and uh, let's take a look at, let's say you're having difficulty with this, you know, you couldn't figure out which one is which. There's another way. If we go to view right here, we have a uh, viewport. So instead of clicking numpad one, or numpad seven or those vert uh, or those axes right there you could actually go to view viewpoint and then numpad seven or top so if you click that it goes to the top all right so what is the advantage of having a numpad it just makes it so much faster because you just click the button all right so i do uh, believe that there's merit to buying a numpad they do sell them for ten dollars it's just a numpad and plugs to your USB if you have a laptop without a numpad. But if you're one of those people with those gigantic Alienware 17-inch, uh, uh, they do come with numpad. So you don't have to do worry. Okay. So here they are. Viewpoint. Front. View, viewpoint. Back. So on and so forth. So you can still access those even ha uh, without having a numpad. All right. Another one is this your camera okay so if you click on active camera that's the same thing as pressing numpad zero and this icon right here the one on top of it set active camera if you happen to have two different cameras and you want the other one to be the active one meaning when you press zero that's the one you look to uh, that's what you click command uh, zero on the numpad or set active object on camera or control uh, I'm on a Mac so when you're on uh, in your uh, on Windows you use control instead okay all right so let's go to navigation so let's say you uh, don't like the um, your or you're having difficulty with your uh, shift and uh, middle click drag you can still do it numpad plus you zoom in you zoom out it's just a lot of click folks but you can do it right here if you don't have your numpad set to all right but your plus and minus once you emulate numpad there'll be those horizontal uh, numbers uh, left and uh, minus and plus by the by the backspace uh, key would work the same thing okay so all right uh, what else here um, we got your cameras, we got your viewpoint, you got your navigation. Frame selected on the numpad zero. Okay, that's the one I pressed before. When you press zero, it just zooms in. It frames the selection. Okay, then I can uh, go back here and put it like that. So that's the same thing. If you guys click on view, um, frame selected, frame all, pretty much it frames all that it's in the scene kind of like that it'll ruin your composition though if you're in camera so just be wary of that okay and um, yeah I mean there's local view uh, I don't want to talk about those right now uh, we'll talk about those when we actually need them okay but for now those are the substitute for not having a numpad it's either you go here through a menu you go here through icons or the last step right now is to emulate those. So I'm going to go to Edit and Preferences. You will see this window. Go down to Input. You have two check marks that you need to do. Emulate numpad. That means your alphanumeric horizontal 1 through minus and plus. 1 through 0, minus and plus will be replaced by all the buttons that's in the numpad minus the dot by the way because we don't have dot on the top okay but plus and minus are there okay 
And then if you don't have a three button mouse, you only have a trackpad with two buttons. You need at least two buttons or your trackpad needs to have at least a secondary button engaged, like go to your settings to enable it, right? Then you would click this, okay? So by clicking those two, when I close this, those are active now. So I'm clicking number one by the tilde at the front, right? Or the top. There you go, it goes to the front. If I press number three, so I'm simulating my numpad now, okay? I'm not clicking my numpad, I'm clicking my horizontal numbers, okay? All right, the other one is the uh, we emulated a three button mouse. Okay, so this is how you uh, work um, the three button mouse. Uh, let me go back to the preference, sorry, because it's using Alt right here. And this is the default, and this is what I'm going to be teaching. Okay, so it's the Alt, okay, or Option key on a Mac. So in order to orbit your camera, you have to hold down Option or Alt and then left click button on your trackpad all right ignore this it's saying uh, middle click i'm not doing middle click i'm emulating it so screencast is getting confused okay so this is holding down alt or option and then left clicking on your trackpad okay in order to zoom using an emulated three button mouse you need to hold down alt and control and then left trackpad button drag okay in order to pan the camera you need to hold down alt or option and shift left click drag on your trackpad all right now why is it important to invest in a three button mouse it's a lot of work emulating a three button mouse both hands are working okay all the time See, if you have a three button mouse, all you have to do is scroll the mouse to zoom in, press and drag the middle click button, and only when you're panning that you need the shift key to do it, okay? So, I hope those helps a lot for those asking for uh, what would be the equivalent if you do not have a three button mouse or a numpad on your keyboard, those are the controls.